Hello everyone and welcome back to Shelter 2 and oh my goodness they're all meowing at once. Um, but we are here with the kittens and uh, some of you guys were saying there's actually, if we look at our map, there's some sort of secret or something, I think by those rocks or something. But I'm not 100% sure so we may check that out real fast. Um, let's first of all though see if we can catch this rabbit because... It's important to have food on hand at all times. Oh boy, here we go. And I've completely lost it. Oh no. Oh no, there it is. I see it. Oh, we got him. Okay. Oh yeah, that's good. Um, but I think it was somewhere over here that you guys were saying. Yeah, I think by the glacier or something. Um, I think I'm not 100% positive where you guys were saying it was. But supposedly, there is a secret of some sort over here. So as long as everything seems to be going all right, we'll probably go and check that out. I do want to be careful to make sure that we have food on hand at all times. And there is a rabbit up there. So I think I'm going to give this to these guys. And then we're going to try and catch this rabbit. And hopefully we can get it. And there's a feather collectible there as well. Okay, oh, you're gonna have to turn around. Yep, you are. All right, we'll come check out that feather collectible a little bit later, I think. Um, is everyone still okay? Everyone's all right, okay. All right. Oh man, they're all meowing at once. Uh, but let's see, is it over here? I think it's over, it may be over here. I'm not positive of the exact area you guys were saying it was. But supposedly it's somewhere around here. Oh, there goes a rabbit. Running. Is there anything? Wait. No, I want to see. There we go. Oh, there's there's bird eggs over here. Okay, let's have everybody go eat the bird eggs. I'm actually going to sprint this way a little bit. And then hopefully they'll go eat those eggs over there. Can you guys go eat the bird eggs? Yeah. Yes? No? Are you going to? Hopefully. Hopefully they will. Can you guys eat the eggs? Um, I'm gonna... No, I didn't want to use scent view. I wanted to drop this and then quickly pick it back up. No. Yeah, go eat. There we go. There we go. I guess... Well, you missed out. <laughs> you just ate. <laughs> Alright, hopefully that'll still be okay. I want to always make sure that we have a rabbit on us. Because if we don't, that could be kind of bad if the wolves happen to come. So we're going to keep heading this way and just check out the area. Because I, it doesn't seem like the prey has migrated too far away from us. And I think we'll be alright. This should actually be our last episode of the litter. And then we'll proceed to have an air poll until next week. And uh, hopefully that means that we'll be able to do fairly well. It should already be, is this summertime? It's either spring or summer. I'm not, not entirely sure. I think it's spring. Um, but as long as that's the case, uh, I think we'll be all right. Is there, there's something over there. Um, I'm actually not 100% positive though. Oh, there's deer up there. Is that deer? Or no, it's a rabbit. Okay, I'm gonna give... Okay, who's looking hungriest? I think you guys are looking pretty hungry again. We're gonna stock the rabbits up here. And see, I see more eggs over there, too. Okay, the rabbit's still there. We're gonna get as close as we can. Those meows scare me because they sound very plaintive. It sounds like something's gone wrong. Okay, got it. All right. But we might be able to stay here. Wait. Where? Oh no. No, 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 no. Somebody collapsed. Okay, this is not good. And you guys have been saying that yes, you can in fact get the kittens when they're um you can't pick up the kittens when they're when they're down like that. But with these guys, you can't. So let's get everyone shoot. Now we don't have a rabbit to to carry so let's get over to these eggs really fast because we need to make sure we get there in time and uh, I'm gonna try to sprint a little bit without using too much stamina is everyone still here are you behind me yes okay as long as everyone's here we should be okay 
I want to make sure everyone gets fed. And I think these guys, I imagine if we have to jump on a plateau, I imagine that they would be, um, that they'd be able to jump up because we can't actually carry them anymore. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, I don't want to eat. I want to, I want to grab. Okay. Well, they're going to, here, can we grab? I want to grab the prey. I want to grab the rabbit. Okay. They're all going to eat. We can't actually grab the rabbit anymore because I think we started eating. Darn it, I was going to pick it up. Okay, they ate it. But is there any prey around here? It does tend to migrate away from you. So that could be where things get a little tricky. But I think we may be okay to... I thought, I thought we were going to have to travel through all the zones here. But we may be alright not. So let's see if we can catch this rabbit here. I'm going to actually stay stalking. And we'll see. I don't like that I don't see them here. That makes me worry that someone actually collapsed again. There we go. Is everyone here? One, two, three, four. Yes. Okay, now it is summertime. Now it is summertime. All right. And I think it was... Let's head back this way. Because I think it was back over here that you guys were saying there's something... There's three rocks, and I think that might be what you guys were talking about. Something to do with those rocks, maybe? I don't actually know. You guys mentioned an area, but I'm not very familiar with this part of the tundra. <laughs> so I'm not entirely sure how we would, um, how we're supposed to get where we're going. Uh, and we can't stay all that long. We might have to, um, we might have to move on if it looks like we're going to start running out of food or something. Is there more food up ahead? I'm going to stop and see. There is. Oh, here. Okay. We're going to crouch because I saw another rabbit. Who's looking hungriest? I think you guys are. I tend to feed them just because that's my ordering. And the last time we ate, it was a meal for all four. All right. You're not stalking. You're going to... Oh, you spooked the rabbit. You have spooked the rabbit. Oh, the brown ones are so hard to see in the summertime, too. There we go. Alright, is this the three rocks? Are we at the three rocks? We are at the three rocks. Okay. Pretty much. One, two, three, four. Okay, they're all here. We're all here. We're good. Um, do we see any other food? There's something up there. So I'm gonna go a little closer and then feed them. I don't know what that... What is the three? Oh no, I didn't want to smell. Okay. Well, we smelled anyway. Okay. I wanted to check my map. Yeah, there's definitely three rocks here. Okay, keep moving. And then I'm going to give it to these guys because then we're going to stalk this rabbit and try and catch this one. Oh boy. All right. Can we do it? I think we can do this. Okay, here we go. We're going to run. We're gonna chase. Oh, he's turning, he's turning. The white ones are a lot easier to see in summertime, which is kind of nice. One, two, three. Three. Four. Okay. <laughs> I was a little concerned for a sec there. But uh, we'll head this way. I'm gonna hang on to this rabbit. And hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to make it over here and uh, figure out what you guys have been talking about because supposedly it's pretty cool. Um, I, You guys have said what it is, but I don't want to say what it is in case we actually do find it because, okay, you guys were the... Really? Really? Okay. We don't have time. We've got to just go. Oh, we got it. Okay, that was, that was fairly easy. They run out of food so fast. How is that? Is that because we're in, in survival mode? It probably is, because I don't remember them getting hungry this quickly. Alright. Who's looking hungry? You guys are looking pretty hungry. I think this should be okay. Hopefully. I hope these guys will be alright. Because I think, okay, let's test something before we have to- wait. What did you guys find over here? Oh, you found eggs. Okay, hurry and eat, you guys. Hurry and eat. Because I think, let's test this and see, if we jump on a plateau, do they jump up with us? Because if so, 
then we don't have to worry about the wolves anymore. Are we able to... Yeah, spacebar to jump. Yes. So if we come up here... Yes, they can jump. Okay. So now that they can jump, it's a lot less of a concern. And uh, we don't have to really worry about... We can, if, As long as we stay near to a plateau, I think we'll be okay. Alright, some of them are down, some of them are not. The trouble is, I do not see any food. Um, why is the music stopped, too? Okay, uh-oh. Some of them are still up there. <laughs> you guys. Okay, we might just have to move on. Oh, there's food up here. Okay, we can get, we can get a rabbit. And hopefully they'll follow us. Because otherwise we're going to be in a bit of a spot. So let's see if we can catch the rabbit. Hopefully that'll be alright. And then we will try and keep looking for... Maybe we'll look for it when we're alone and don't have to worry about feeding the, feeding the cubs. Because that'll be at the end of this. Oh, come on. There we go. One, two, three, four. Okay, who's hungriest? Who's looking hungriest? I think you guys are looking pretty hungry. Fox is... Fox is actually... Seems to be doing the best out of most of the kittens. And somebody found eggs over here, so we better hurry and, uh... Before they all get eaten up. Oh, Fox! <laughs> the other two missed out. Oh no, hurry, you guys, hurry! Hurry, is that... I think that... I think Maple is the lighter one. Maple! Oh my goodness! Maple seems to be a little bit... A little bit slower and is possibly the run to the litter. Because... Uh, she hasn't been seeming to do as well. I think that's Maple. Um, we have I can't I can't remember which of the which of the dark kittens or which of the brown and dark ones are which actually. Um, I I am a little. Wait, what? No, no. Oh no. That wasn't good. Maple's still okay. Or I I think that's Maple. I'm pretty sure that's Maple. Is still okay for now, so that's good. But we do need to find more food. Because if we don't find more food, we're going to be in trouble here. Um, really got to hurry here. And I do not see any food. This is a problem. <laughs> this is a big problem, you guys. There's something up here. Is that a rabbit up here? It might be a rabbit, okay. Come up here. Oh, I don't want to fall off. Oh, hey, 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 okay, Maple is eating. That's good. I'm just gonna say that's Maple, because now I may I may be confused. <laughs> I may be confused, but um Oh no, that wasn't ah So we still need to find food and quickly. Cause there's gotta be Oh, there's there's a rabbit here. Okay, we're gonna run. We're just gonna run because we already scared it. Oh, this is not a good situation. This is not a good situation. I don't think our stamina is going to hold. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Really? Really? Oh, but there's an owl. Okay. There's eggs up here. If we can get to those, we're saved. All right. Let's come this way. Hur hurry, hurry, hurry. All right. Shake the tree. Shake the tree. Get the eggs down. Everybody, come eat, please. Please. Hurry, you guys. Hurry. All right. Oh, good. Okay. Everybody gets to eat. All right. And they are getting so big. It must be almost autumn. And once it's autumn, we'll go investigate over there because it's just going to get too chaotic to try and uh, deal with deal with kittens at the same time uh, as uh, trying to explore over there when the prey tends to leave where you are. So, oh no. No, 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 no. Don't, don't chase the rabbit. Okay. The rabbit's here. It's running. Um, if we stay close on its tail, wait a sec. In autumn when the hills are yellow and red, the cubs are called to follow the path of solitude, so they're about to grow up. We just have to hold on for a little bit longer, and everything- oh, we got it! And everything should be alright. So, let's hang on to this, and we'll come and, uh, chill out over here for a little while, and I think that means that autumn is on its way and should be, uh, showing up at any time now. So, oh, we just spooked another rabbit. Okay. I'm gonna feed you guys first this time because you seem to be the ones who are constantly getting hungry. And I usually do feed the others first. And there's something over here. 
I'm not entirely sure what, but there is... I saw some food. Oh, it's rabbit. Okay, I see it. It's brown. <laughs> uh, it blends right in. It is interesting how much the coat colors affect things at the different times of year, because it's a lot harder to see the brown rabbits in the summertime here, but in the wintertime, it's the white ones that really blend in. So it's kind of interesting. Okay, you guys just ate, and uh, you guys need to eat. So we'll make sure they have it. And there's a, there's a little stream here. I didn't even realize that. All right, let's come down here and kind of visit the stream. I didn't realize we had a little stream here. Oh, and we just spooked a rabbit. But it should be almost autumn, so I think we're okay. Um, is everyone going to be alright? I don't think we can fall in. At least not here. But I think we can get something to drink, and that'll boost our stamina a little bit. I don't know by how much. If we do it again. Oh, hey! Somebody got a rabbit! Oh, nice job! Oh, don't drop it in the water. And it's in the water. Okay. And uh, I'm going to let you guys eat it, because... Uh, that you guys, I think, need it more than I do, but thank you. Oh my goodness, okay. That, you guys have said they tend to bring them back for you, which is seems to be the case. But, um, it's usually a lot better for them to eat their own catches. I usually try to avoid it unless I really need it. So, we'll make our way back this way a little bit. I'm not going to go too far, because I do still want to explore around there. Once we, uh, once these guys have gone off on their own. And I'll probably, since this is going to be a really long episode otherwise, I'm probably going to cut out some of the exploration and kind of just show you if we find what I've been looking, where what I, what I was trying, what you guys have told me and what I've been trying to look for. Um, oh no! I don't know where it went. It went that way. We're not going to catch it. Okay. Well, that was rather unfortunate. But uh, I'll probably cut out a lot of the just running, and uh, then I'll I'll show you that if we find it, and then when we get back closer to the den, I'll show you. Where's Fox? There's Fox, okay. Fox is the uh, the red kitten. So, um, we'll keep making our way this way. Oh, hey, nice! You got- I heard someone catch something. Where? Where did this happen? Oh, over here, okay. Oh, nice! Okay, you guys can go ahead and eat that. Um, yeah, that'll be good for you guys. And, uh, we'll continue on. We don't really need food right now. We're doing alright. And I think it sounds like it's probably about to change to autumn because it got really quiet. And it probably is about time. Actually, it already is because, see, the leaves are falling, so that means that it's, it's early autumn, actually. But we're waiting for the leaves to change color. And uh, that's when these guys will head off on their own. Is there anything more over here? I don't really see any prey. Oh, somebody's finding something, though. Oh, nice job, Fox. Okay, they can go ahead and eat. Oh. But here- No, you guys, it's time. Autumn has arrived. You can see now it's officially autumn, so it's probably just really late summer, actually. But you can see now the hills are starting to- No! Not okay with this. Not okay with this. Okay. Please tell me this is still a viable food source. Okay. There's something here. No, no, no. Don't eat it. No, I want to- I have to grab that. Oh my goodness. I have to grab that. Are they all- Are they all re- Oh no, it's time for them to go. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, are you gonna be okay? Are you gonna be okay? I'm bringing food to you. Are you gonna be alright? I hope you're gonna be okay. Here, if you need that- Oh, it's time to say goodbye to everyone. Goodbye, you guys. I hope I get to all of them before it's time for them to go. Goodbye. Goodbye, you two. Goodbye, Fox. Oh. It's always so hard to say goodbye. But it is. It is time for them to go alone. And to live their own lives. And there they go, you guys. They're heading off into the great unknown, and uh, we'll be following one of them next time. But you'll have to decide which over the time in between. Now, I'm not going to wrap up the episode right now. 
I'm actually going to go ahead, open there they go into the distance. I'm actually going to go ahead and see if I can figure out what you guys have been telling me about. Maybe I'll go back and look at the comments and then I'll include an extra little clip about that at the end because apparently it's pretty cool. And uh, then I'll come back for the conclusion and we will let Juniper's story conclude. So you guys, this is what you wanted to show me. So apparently the pond that feeds into the stream actually has a mammoth frozen in it. And uh, that's pretty cool, honestly. Look at, uh, you can see here, it's, and I think, do we get an achievement for it? You get a collectible for it. That you can see there's actually a mammoth here, and uh, that kind of perhaps implies that uh, the shelter games take place uh, back towards prehistoric times and not, uh, not quite in such modern history. So that's pretty fascinating that we actually have, uh, I live near the La Brea tar pits and we actually have a lot of mammoth fossils uh, because uh, the tar pits out here during the Ice Age, the mammoths used to live here apparently and would they some of them got trapped in the tar pits and preserved there and uh, so we have a lot of mammoths there's dire wolves there's i think giant sloth there's a lot of cool things at liberia tar pits um but uh that's that's we ha have had these guys near too but they they've been they've been gone for a while <laughs> so it's kind of fascinating that may, maybe implies that Shelter 2 doesn't take place in quite as recent history as uh, a lot of the games we've played. So, but yeah, that's pretty neat. Uh, if you guys do want to see where it is, then uh, here it is on the map. It's actually a little farther up than, uh, than where I thought. It's actually up here at the top of this stream area. So with that said, I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, make, make my way back to the den and we will wrap up with the ending of the... Uh, the ending of Juniper's story here, so I will see you guys in a bit. And we are here, back at the den, so we're gonna head up this way, I think, and uh, return to the den, and we'll wrap up Juniper's story here. It's been such an amazing time with her, and I still can't believe we made it through our first litter on the, uh, the survival mode with all the kittens still alive, you guys. That's pretty amazing. We had some very close calls there, but thankfully, everyone turned out to be all right. And uh, we're going to go ahead and conclude Juniper's story. And here she is. She's alone now. Oh, that always makes me sad. It's kind of a bittersweet. I mean, she can rest easy knowing that her, her kittens her kittens will, will go on and, and have their own lives. They'll survive. But at the same time, it's pretty bittersweet as well because her story is drawing to a close. And once again, it is her time to follow the stars and uh, head off into, into the unknown. And I like to think that maybe this isn't the end of her story, that uh, this is her following her instincts to find a new mate. Um, but there's a lot of speculations on this. Some people say that it's uh, it's her, her passing away and then being greeted by uh, either her old mate or one of her kittens. Uh, there's a lot of theories on this. Personally, I like to think that this is her going on and she'll pass from our, our stories, but continue on in her own and we can imagine she has an, more adventures beyond this and perhaps raises more kittens and we don't really know. I, I like to think of this as just her stepping out of our, our view, her story continuing on where we don't see sort of, sort of how, you know, when a book ends or a movie, or a TV show, or, or even a game like this, most of the time, unless everybody dies, the the characters continue on. Their lives continue. We just don't see, and we're free to imagine what may happen. So there's a lot of different theories, and I don't know if we're meant to think anyone is right or wrong, uh, but the one I tend to choose is that this is just her stepping out of the side of our story, and uh, just this chapter of the story coming to a close. So you can definitely see that's a different Lynx, and it does look a little bigger there, and so a lot of people do speculate that this could be the mate, or possibly a new mate. Um, but we'll see. And so she kind of sneaks up the hill like this. It's full of fireflies. It looks like it's spring or summer or something. Uh, probably summer, actually. And it's so beautiful. But yeah, I, I like to think this is her going on and her story continuing. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of different uh, a lot of different potential meanings of this. 
and pretty soon yes there's another lynx oh it's a red one oh my goodness i think oh my goodness you guys you know what this one definitely a lot larger than her but you know what you guys i'm just gonna toss this out here this is a red lynx and juniper was always very close to her sister honey who was a red lynx and they like their their stories are pretty much intertwined and in fact they were the two who were the potential heirs who that you guys then had to choose between and uh juniper is the one who won the polls but these guys were inseparable even 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 in that uh even to the point where their stories have always been intertwined and so you guys Part of me wants to say that maybe this is Honey coming back and these two are reunited at last. And uh, I feel like that'd be a pretty fitting end for Juniper, honestly. Um, a fitting end to her tale. But you know, there's a lot of things. Maybe she's gone on to find a new mate. Maybe that was, maybe that was Fox come back to visit her. Um, maybe this was her old mate. Uh, there's a lot there's a lot of potential possibilities here and uh, I don't know that anyone is right or wrong in any case this is our, the end of what at least what we've seen of Juniper's story and we're going to proceed to the air poll now and you guys will have the chance to vote on which of the kittens you want to see continue their story into the next part of the season we kind of we, we kind of have about five different micro seasons throughout the course of each shelter two season and so the next chapter will be continuing here and uh, you guys will have the chance to choose. So make sure you vote in the poll. That's going to be in the video description. You'll have to scroll down a little bit, but it will be there. Uh, so make sure you keep an eye out for that and uh, go vote in it when, when it's up. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this series. I've been so grateful to get back into Shelter 2. I've actually really missed this game quite a bit, uh, more than I thought I would. We've been on season break for a while and uh, only just returned. And so we're going to leave these guys alone here to uh to let their story kind of pass out of our sight and uh we we shall see uh perhaps what the next we'll, we'll see what the next story holds and uh, we'll let these guys run away into the night here and i always love how it says special thanks to all mothers because seriously you guys um i know i know i'm very grateful to my mom for all she's done and for, for all she's taught me, and I'm just really thankful to have her. And I love that this game kind of presents that, because in today's day and age, we don't have a lot of games that focus on mothers, and I, I think they need, I think they need to get, I think they deserve to have a little bit of, a little bit of attention here. So we'll let these two go, and we're going to go ahead and wrap up this series here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.